Hi, today we're here with you to show you how to take a standard Mandela bangle that you're going to buy at the local shop or on the internet and how to turn it into something a little bit more bling and fun where you can add a bit of color into your actual bangle and give yourself that extra lift. Colors can be of any nature and any style. It's your choice. So what we're going to show you now is how to do that and what you need to have is obviously first you need to buy your bangle which you can get as we said at any one of the retailers or uh, online. You're going to need to get hold of some paints. These are typically the kind of hobby paints we use. Um, they're small enamel based paints that you'll steal from your brother or sister probably <laughs> to uh, uh, make your bangle bling. The color you choose is totally up to you. You're also going to need a small and very thin paintbrush like the one we use here, it's quite thin, and you'll need a little bit of cloth to wipe off your bangle to get it all sorted out. Opening your bangle carefully, not to tear the packaging too much, because the packaging contains a number of instructions on how to register your bangle, which then allows you to track the funds. Um, you take the bangle out and start the process of painting. The secret is not to use too much paint, but to coat the actual indentation of the Mandela signature or any other part of the bangle that you actually want to paint. Don't worry about going over the lines because we're going to simply wipe it off with the cloth. Remember the bangle is coated with a special enamel on the outside so this enamel will stick into the indentations. What we like to do is to paint everything that's black and leave the serial number in the natural copper color that it is to stand out. Once you've painted the parts that you would like to paint, careful not to get the paint into the parts you don't want. Um, you need to then leave the, the bangle to dry by simply just putting it down and leaving it alone for approximately five to seven minutes so that the paint can dry into the grooves before we actually wipe off the excess paint. Now remember if you're using fast drying enamel paints you'll need to take it off within about three to four minutes rather than the longer time period but you gently take a soft cloth that's smooth not furry and you wipe off the excess paint as we're doing here. Be gentle, take your time rather than being in a rush and you'll find you'll get a much better result. The indentations are quite deep so you will wipe off the paint on the outside rather than from the inside of it. Where you wipe off a little bit too much excess paint you can always touch it up with a paintbrush afterwards. And please remember that it's also possible to actually paint the pure copper bangle like we've got over here. So taking that a little bit further you notice that you apply quite a bit of pressure to wipe it off but you can start to see what it's going to look like where the paint's formed into the words um, and has quite a striking impact once, once you've got the bangle done. So for the last part, what you want to do is spend a little bit of time just polishing the areas to make it, uh, return it back to its former shine, making sure the paint's in. Um, and it turns out to be quite a phenomenal bangle once you've got it all done. Um, we then suggest that you take the bangle and you let it dry for an additional 15 minutes before you start wearing it. And voila, there you have your custom made Mandela bangle looking absolutely spectacular and very noticeable.